Welcome. In this video, we are going to look at problem 42. It is from the chapter 3 review exercises of college algebra by OpenStax. Okay, we need to find f composed with g at x, and we need to find the domain for it for the pair of functions we have to work with. Okay, so let's find f composed with g at x. This is f of g of x, f of, okay, so g of x is the square root of x plus 1. Okay, so now wherever we see an x in the definition of f, we replace it with the square root of the quantity x plus 1. So we are going to have 1 over the square root of x plus 1, I'm going to square that, and minus 1. Okay, so we square the square root. The squaring undoes the square rooting. And so we're just left with x plus 1, and then we have the minus 1. So we are left with 1 over x. Okay, now we need the domain for this. Okay, so the domain for g of x or of g of x is we cannot allow negative square roots. So no negative square roots. Okay, so that means x plus 1 is not allowed to be 0. So we subtract 1 from both sides, and we get x is not allowed to be 1. Okay, now we look at the domain of f composed with g of x. Okay, this is 1 over x, so we can have no division by 0. So x is not allowed to be 0. We put these pieces together to get the full domain. Sometimes it's helpful to look at a number line. Let me lower it. Okay. So we have a minus 1 that's not allowed, and we have 0 that's not allowed. And this is the positive x direction. Okay, so put an open circle at minus 1. x can be anything else, so let's show that with a line on both sides. And then x can't be 0, so we'll put a line there. We'll put an open 0, not a filled in 0 whole. Okay, so then we've got lines extending both ways, and now the domain will be everywhere these two overlap. And so we have from minus infinity all the way up to minus 1, we're going to union that with minus 1 to 0. Again, the parentheses mean we are not including values, and that's what the open circles mean above the number line. Then we're going to union that with 0 all the way up to infinity. And that is our domain. That's our final answer for the domain of f composed with g at x. And 1 over x is what it is equal to. Okay, I hope you found that helpful and informative. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.